Good morning, Sparrow Swing Middle School. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, and it's an A day. My name is Nakira. And my name is Bailey. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now Molly with the weather. The weather today is 48 degrees and partly cloudy, and tomorrow will be 43 and sunny. Today's lunch is pizza, cheese and pepperoni, chicken patty sandwich, regular spicy, bacon cheeseburger on a roll, chicken nacho grande, turkey chef salad with soft pretzel, rock and romaine and spinach salad, sassy salsa, country corn, seasoned potato wedges and pears. Over to Joe. Today is Go Caroling Day. The library is closed today for high school testing. Now a message from the science department. Good morning, Sparrows Point. The science department will be making and selling bows to wear during Math Clash. Each grade's color will be available to purchase for a dollar at Math Clash and at lunch on the day of Math Clash. All proceeds will benefit our, our green school projects. There is no art club this week. Now, now Braden with the sports report. Good morning. <coughs> Sorry. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle. I'm Braden Buckley with your uh, Sparrows Point basketball news. The girls and boys basketball teams hosted Golden Ring Middle School yesterday. Both games were very exciting. The Lady Pointers Defeated by the Golden Ring Panthers, I can't speak today. The score was close most of the game until the Panthers pulled away with the lead at the end of the game. Scoring for the Lady Pointers was Bailey A with 5 points, Molly S with 4 points, Avery C with 6 points, Lulu P with 3 points, and Maya H with 4 points. The boys lost the Golden Ring by only 3 points. The Pointers went back and forth with the Panthers. Despite the loss, the boys played some great defense. Putting points on the board for the Panthers were Kai D with 10 points, Samahi S with 4 points, Kershawn M with 2 points, Anthony B with three points, and Abraham M with seven points. Both teams will play tomorrow against Pine Grove Middle School. This game will be played in the high school gym. Students are welcomed and encouraged to attend. Admission to the game is $2 for students. Now a message from Mr. Swain. Good morning, Sparrows Point. I have two things. First one, if you are going on the caroling trip with me today, you will be meeting in my room at 1045, which is period four. And the other bit of news I have is, it's a bit sad, it's a bit tragic. Um, there will be no nerd club today. So um, if you see someone who needs a little extra hug today, help them out. Um, that's all I got. Now a message from Ms. Ryan. Good morning, teachers and students. My message is just to follow up with uh, Braden's sports message. Tomorrow is another home game for the Pointers. Students, you are welcome and encouraged to attend the game. This game will be played in the high school gym. In order to attend the game, you have to pay an admission of $2 to get into the game, which can be paid at the door. Now, here's how we do things here at Sparrows Point. If you are planning on attending the game and you are staying after school, you are not permitted in the gym hallways until a teacher escorts you down there. If you are going to stay, then you will report to room 218, which is Miss Antonelli's room after school, and that's where you will hang out for an hour. You do have permission to go home if you have a way back to school, but we don't want any students down in the gym area before 345. The first game is at 4 o'clock. The second game is immediately after about 530. So again, it's $2 admission for students, there should be no students roaming the hallways. If you're here for the basketball game tomorrow, you should be in a room with a teacher. And if you need a teacher, Miss Antonelli's room will be open. Thank you. Now a message from Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, Spurs Point Middle. Just a few quick announcements. As most of you know, Friday's a big day. We have the celebration of champions, 
By now, every middle schooler should have signed up for their activities. So if you haven't, please do so. We're doing that on your devices. Also, after lunch, we're going back to the old schedule. After lunch from 1 to 2.36, we are having the math clash. Now, I just want to say a few things about the math clash so you know the history of it. The math clash has taken place at Sperry's Point Middle School every year since the mid-1980s. A math teacher by the name of Paul Linebeck started the math clash as a way to motivate kids to be interested in math and have fun and, and have physical activities at the same time. He later became a longtime assistant principal at this school. He was actually here for my first couple of years as well. Um, he recently passed away, but his memory, and there's not many teachers left in this building who, who knew him, but his memory kind of stays with the school that he spent so much time in as we continue through the math clash every year. Um, so many of you have parents that are much younger than me and older brothers and sisters that have done the math clash, and it's definitely one of the highlights of the school year. And I certainly enjoy it, and I think everyone else does. So every year is a way to motivate all three grades to do their best at the math clash. And the teachers, I write a poem, because I'm a very creative person. I rap, I write poetry, I act. I, I paint, I sculpture, I do lots of things no one knows about. Miss Farrell is rolling her eyes right at me right now. But I would like everyone to hear this poem that I have written, especially those kids at the end of the hall. And this poem is entitled, Why a Sixth Grader is No Better Than the Gum on the Bottom of My Shoe. Here we go. When I see a sixth grader, I have to laugh. It smells like a week since their last bath. The brains in their heads are usually very small. These are the type of kids that get kicked out of the East Point Mall. They stumble down the hallway and annoy all they pass. I wouldn't be surprised if they are failing their easiest class. <laughs> sixth graders are known to be annoying and hyper. Instead of talking to them, I would rather change a dirty diaper. On their way to lunch, they ask, which way do I go? The memory of the sixth grader is sometimes very slow. Sixth grade conversations make my ears want to bleed. The eighth graders will stop at nothing to win and succeed. Everyone knows blue is the color of victory. Students who are red will be crying for all to see. When I see a sixth grade girl walking down the hallway, I suddenly have the urge to pluck out my eyes. When they fail their easiest math tests, they tell their parents lies. Sixth grade boys remind me of funny little clowns. That is why they should be prepared for a math clash beat down. The math clash will end in eighth grade glory. That is why, oh, for the sixth grade, it will be a very embarrassing story. The eighth grade will win with perfect sportsmanship. The sixth grade teachers will go down with their ship. Sixth grade miracles happen once every 18 years. Just don't expect a victory this year or you will go home in tears. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that, that has given me the support in this room. So Monday or Friday, be prepared for the math clash. Wear your colors. I am the MC. I have the ability to take points off of each grade if we're not talking. And just so everyone knows that I am an, an objective MC, that I take points away from the eighth grade every year. So I do do that. As so much as I want the eighth grade to win, I call it straight down the middle. I'm fair but firm. So thank you. I have a wonderful morning to everyone except for those kids at the end of the hall. For the quote of the day, be smarter than other people, just don't tell them. So, H. Jackson Brown, Jr. Thanks for watching. I'm Nakira. And I'm Bailey. Remember, I have pride in all that you do.